Today, we're going to be learning about something very interesting. Let me see if you can guess. Are you ready? I'm going to give you a big clue. That's right. We're going to learn how to tell the time. Time is very important. Can you close your eyes for a minute and think why it might be important to know the time? That's right. We need to know the time of when to do things, maybe when to get up, when to brush our teeth, when to eat our breakfast, when to have lunch, when to have our dinner, and even when to go to bed. Telling the time is very, very important. So today, can you think about where you have got a clock in your house? Or where on you a can phone? See the time? A clock might be on your oven or on a microwave. This is my clock from my kitchen. It is very useful because it tells me or what time I need to go to school in the morning. Today we're going to learn all about O'Clock. Can you see the clock has got two hands? Not, not like mine and your hands, hands that are lines like this. So this is the short hand and this is the long hand. The short hand is also called the hour hand and the long hand is called the minute hand. Today we're going to learn the time o'clock. When it is o'clock, the long hand is on the 12 and the short hand shows us what hour it is. So the long hand is telling us it is o'clock and the hour is eight. So we say eight o'clock. Very good. Can you see where the long hand is now? That's right, it's still on the 12. So it's o'clock and the hour is nine o'clock. Very good. Can you see where the hands have moved to now? That's right, the long hand is still on the 12, so it's o'clock and it is 11 o'clock. Can you see what time it is now? The long hand is still on the 12, so it's o'clock and we say one o'clock. Very good. For this next time activity, I'd like you to try and get a piece of paper, something to write with, and a circle to draw around. I am going to use a plate. Put the object you've chosen to draw around on your piece of paper and draw a circle around it. It doesn't have to be a plate. You could use something else that is a circle shape. Can you see how many numbers we need to draw on our clock? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's right. We're going to write the numbers 1 to 12 on our clock. If you look carefully at the numbers, can you see that 12 is at the top of the clock and 6 is at the bottom of the clock? Let's put those numbers on our circle first. Let's write 12 at the top. And do you remember 6 was right at the bottom, right underneath it? Can you see what number goes in the middle of 12 and 6? 3. And on the other side of 3 is 9. Let's put those numbers on our clock next. 
3 and 9. By putting those numbers on first, it will make it easier for you to put the other numbers on. Now look what number comes after 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's put those on the other numbers on next. Do you remember what number came after 12? That's right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then let's put a little dot right in the middle there. The next thing I, you need to do is have a small piece of paper and I want you to cut it into two strips. And one short strip. So I'm going to turn the paper this way round and cut this way. Then with your pen you can draw a line on your long piece of paper and a short line on your other piece of paper. These are going to help you put the times on your clock. So do you remember how to show 8 o'clock on the clock? That's right, the long handles at the top for o'clock shorthand was on the hour which was eight o'clock. Very good. Now I'm going to show you what time Mrs Burwood gets up in the morning. Are you ready? So I'm going to put the long hand on the 12 for o'clock and the small hand on the six. So Mrs Burwood gets up six o'clock in the morning. What time do you get up in the morning? Maybe you can draw it on your clock and send us in a picture of what time you get up in the morning. How about what time you have your lunch at? I normally have my lunch at this time. Are you ready? Now that's a tricky one. Can you get that? Both hands are pointing to the 12, so we say 12 o'clock. Can you show me on your clock what time you have your lunch at? How about your dinner in the evening? I normally have my dinner at this time. Are you ready? Put the long hand for o'clock on the 12 and the short hand on the hour. 5 o'clock. What time do you have your dinner at? Maybe you could put the hands on your clock for what time you have your dinner at. Have a go at making your own clock. And if you can, draw a time on your clock, showing me the time that you wake up in the morning, or the time that you have your lunch, or the time you have your dinner. You can either cut the hands out like I did, or you can draw lots of different clocks and put the times on them. This is my final one. Are you ready? So I'm going to draw the long hand to o'clock and the short hand to that number there. If you can, send us in a picture of the clock that you've made and the time that you have picked.
and you can tell us also why you've picked that time. So here's Mrs. Burwa's clock. Can you see it says? Can you see what time it says? That's right. It says 10 o o'clock. 10 o'clock. If you have a clock that you can look at in your house, today have a go at trying to see when it is an o'clock time. And if you see it, see if you can shout out the time. So what would we shout out everybody? Two o'clock. Very good. If you can, send us in a picture of the clock that you've made and write the time underneath your clock and tell us why you picked that time. It might be what time you have breakfast at, it might be what time you wake up in the morning, it might be even what time you go for your walk. We'd love to hear from you and see what times you have and remember to look around your house and see how many clocks you can see because there are clocks everywhere. Take care everybody, see you soon, bye bye.